Bogoria is an area situated in the Baringo and Koibatek district in the Rift Valley of Kenya. The community mainly depends on livestock. Lake Bogoria and its catchment areas are rich in natural resources that include landforms, forest, wildlife, wetland and pastures. This area has undergone significant changes in land use over the past 20 years. These changes are associated with high human population growth that has exerted huge pressure on local resources and landform. Consequently, these developments have led to disrupted ecological processes and negative impacts on the environment. You can see these impacts through soil erosion, high silt load in the rivers and lakes, deforestation and degraded land. Soil erosion is both an ecological and socio-economical problem in the area around Lake Bogoria. This is a process where the top fertile layer of soil is removed by running water, strong wind or animals moving, Soil erosion occurs in soils that are dry and have little vegetation. Erosion on cultivated land is closely related to rainfall, landscape, soil type and land use. Additionally, increased numbers of livestock leads to overgrazing which reduces vegetation cover and therefore increases soil erosion. Eroded soil become infertile and cannot support vegetation, which means there is no food for livestock. An eroded soil may lead to flooding as there is less vegetation to slow water and cannot absorb as much water. This fast flowing water can create gullies which make land unsuitable for agriculture or grazing. Areas which are prone to gullies include bare land, animal trucks, degraded roads and poor drainage structures. The rivers carry the soil to the swamps and lakes where it builds up. This has been a main cause of the degradation of the two main swamps in the area, the Kesubo and the Kiborkoj. There are some key issues which can be said to have caused the degradation of this particular place. For one, we have uh, de uh, deforestation. Deforestation in the upper catchment also has, and has led entirely on the, day, on the loss of vegetation in this particular swamp. So we have a number of uh, livestock which has died because of um, the degradation of this place. We have a decline in water level which, has, which is flowing to this river from the upper catchment. The loss of Marmaret Forest, Shamane Forest, and Sijui Committee areas has been deforested. So that is one of the key reasons as to why this swamp has been degraded. These processes have led to the loss of fertile land, crops and livestock, which has increased poverty in the area. They have allowed alien plant species to spread throughout the area, making it harder for native species to re-establish themselves. There are solutions to the problems associated with soil erosion, for example, grass plots. This is where an area is fenced off from livestock, grass is planted and allowed to grow, 
when harvested, it can either be used to feed livestock in times of drought or sold at the market. Apa ni shamba yetu ya nyasi, ambayo tulukusa ile tuwauzie watu wa nje, kwa sababu huko nje mfugo wamekua wengi na wamesababisha soil erosion. There are about 220 pelts. We are selling at a fair price, ranging from 50 shillings and above. Feeding livestock with this grass eases the pressure on pasture land and allows natural vegetation to be restored. This helps to combat soil erosion. In that grass plot, you find that we did that to first to enlighten the community concerning what is happening in the area. You find that the grass plot is one way of uh, controlling soil erosion. Apart from that, we can also control over grazing. So that is just a demonstration plot, that grass plot. Tree nurseries also provide the soil with cover from rain and help to hold the soil together with their roots, reducing erosion. Ogoria residents have already taken such action to conserve their environment. Resident at Kabnoske, with the help of WWF and their local primary school, have started many self-sustaining projects. These include an orange and vegetable growing project and grass plots. The local community has embarked on tree planting and a fruit tree promotion to reduce forest destruction for charcoal burning and timber. Sabu utakuwa ukiusa mbuzi kuliko kuusa makaa. Alafu wanachuka hiyo miti. Kwa hivyo inaonekana kama tungepata msaada ya marketing ingekuwa fadhali. Um, nyuki pia naye miti inasaidia kwa sababu mali unaweka msinga ni kwenye kwa miti. Na miti ni miti mwingine. Kwa hivyo huwa huwa miti miti sikibaki mambo ya huwa Another solution is to use carbon boxes. These slow water flow and capture soil from water, which builds up over time into a very fertile soil. Increase awareness and the use of erosion control methods like grass plots, tree nurseries, and carbons. The future is positive. People in this area need to undertake these measures to control soil erosion in order to restore natural vegetation cover, improve farm yield value and preserve the land for future generations. <laughs>